Oh, there it is. Oh, we are. Okay. Hi, guys. Hey, everybody. I'm Christy Forsyth from Clarity. And I'm Psychic, Miss, psychic Medium Christopher Scott Stelson from Sacred Amethyst. And we are taking a bath together. I know. This is really <laughs> weird, isn't it? But it's like not as weird as I thought. It yeah, would be. I know. I mean, at least we have clothes on still. You yeah. Know? Like, it's not yeah. going to be that like, perverted, like. Well, oh, I do. Chris doesn't. Oh, yeah. Secret. Yeah, it's a little secret. <laughs> it's a hush hush type situation. We can't really tell. So. Yeah, so we've been talking about self care. Yeah. And thinking about self care. And actually, you know, sorry we're a little <coughs> bit late. I think we said we were going to be here at six. Six. But like this bathtub took forever. Bathtub malfunction. We did. <laughs> yes. It was hilarious. We wanted to get bubbles for you guys <laughs> and be prepared for you guys. But we have this bath set up because we're going to talk about self care today. And a bubble bath is an amazing way to just take yes. a little bit of time. Yes. For yourself. Definitely. And I always think that water is a really good element to kind of like wash off that negativity. You know what I mean? It's yeah. really good just like, even if you're doing a bath, I always recommend like when you wash your body up and stuff and you watch the water go down the drain, just like watch your like negativity, your sadness, your depression, anything go down the drain and it just goes right with it. Yeah. I really like to imagine whether I'm taking a bath or a shower, because let's face it, we don't <coughs> always have a time, time for a bath. Um, just imagining that water washing you. Definitely, you know, yeah. and just like washing away any negativity, not just washing your body, but washing away that negativity. And I like to even imagine where that negativity might be on my body. And so it might be like a gray or, or whatever that looks like. And just having that be, I can't even use my hands. I can't either. <laughs> having that be released with the water and going down the drain, like Chris said. Yeah. And the thing too is like, especially after this retrograde, mm -hmm. I'm telling you, this retrograde was like the worst and I never even got a piece of it, but it was like afterwards is when the retrograde actually hit me. You know what I mean? Energy after yes. the retrograde. Yes. And like a lot of people were having all this hard time during it. I'm just like, it'll be, it'll be good. You're okay. You're fine. You know, breathe through it. And the next thing you know, it hits me right afterwards. So there I am taking sage, burning in the bath, like my bathroom and like actually taking a shower thinking, okay, retrograde, fuck you. I'm done. You know what I mean? Like I'm washing <laughs> yeah. this shit off. I'm not even going to yeah. start. You know what I mean? Well, I think it was too the Mars retrograde. That was really like we were really feeling and that went direct today. So hallelujah. Thank God. Yes. Yeah. Yes, being so, so sensitive to energy and stuff. We can feel like we're moving forward <laughs> with things. We can actually I, I don't know, I've been sitting there like just kind of blindly blinking and um trying to focus on things but not able to and mm -hmm. So we can move forward with things now. Yeah, it's a sign for a new chapter, I should say. I feel yeah. like a lot of new things are about to happen for a lot of people. I keep new seeing doors. the angel number 555 around for changes, the big mm -hmm. changes number. And I feel like that's going to be a really good thing for people to actually hear is that this time, a lot of changes are going to be occurring. There's yeah. a lot of different things happening, a lot of different things happening in everyone's life. And it might get a little chaotic, but at the same time, you're going to be fine. You know? Yeah. And that's what we're talking about right now is the self-care type situation because of this retrograde and everything else. So... Exactly. No. And, and that's it. You're going to be fine. But what you need to do is when you're having a hard time is prioritize your self care. Mm -hmm. And that's hard for a lot of people to do. I, I bring that up all the time in sessions and people will say, well, I don't have time or my kids need me or I feel selfish. And I think that it's really important for us to make sure that we do make the time for that, that we do prioritize that mm -hmm. because if we're not, we, you know, you can't pour from an empty cup, they always say, yeah. right? Oh, yeah, definitely. And, and so we can't be the best mom. We can't be the best friend. We can't be the best person. So many people who follow, both of us are light workers and people mm -hmm. who are helpers, right? So they're worried about making themselves the priority. Yes. It's not selfish, though, because you can help people so much better if you're taking care of you. Yeah, and that's the same thing. Like, Spirit's always told me this. Like, I was always a giver, like, it throughout my whole too. life. Oh, yeah, definitely, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but we needed that after the plug incident. But um, so, like, I always did for everybody else. That was my biggest problem. I never did for me. I never really cared for me. I never really did much. And then suddenly, when Spirit was like, Chris, taking care of yourself allows you to take care of other people. You never get that energy or that kind of uplift for yourself if you're always dragging people with you and like taking on their shit, allowing you kind of like to have this barrier down on you. That's the problem. You get like this weight and like this like energy to lack and kind of like being so um like sick you can actually get sick from it you can actually get a lot of things like that and things like that too and then when you actually focus on yourself it allows you to have this energy to take care of everybody else i always think like 
at least an hour a day or like half an hour yeah. a day. Just focus on yourself and kind of just get that energy back. Do that little recharge real quick and then you'll yeah. be fine. Absolutely. You know, um, what I really don't like is what you said earlier is when people are like, oh, well, I don't have enough time. There is a lot of time in the world. I know time's a useless thing pretty much except for just to schedule things around and mm -hmm. stuff. But on the other side, in heaven, we don't have time. And that's what spirit always reminds me is there's no time over here. Like, even though we're in, I'm in the physical world and there still is some time here, I can still live as if I'm on their side and just act like time is just this useless thing. And yeah, I have to schedule things in, but I will always make time for myself. And that's such an important point is to schedule it in because when you're busy, you are not going to fit it in as easily. And it's amazing too that when you schedule it in, you're not going to use a lot of those time wasters like Facebook. Although, please keep watching. Don't yes. <laughs> yes. Don't get but you're not going to use those time wasters as much because if you schedule it in, it's like making that contract with yourself that you're going to take care of yourself during that time. Like I have in my schedule at this time, bath with Chris Stilson. Yeah, and look, we're relaxing actually. We Even though we're relaxed. still working. Look at that. We're working. Even though we're still we're working. Drinking, we're we're relaxing. in a bubble bath. Yeah. I wish I could see the comments. I know. <laughs> it's hard to see. Is there any couple on there? Um Nicole Davis said, why was I not invited? Mm. Nicole, you should come join us. Yeah. Get over here real quick. Yeah, come on over. <laughs> Mel Ray said traitor. Traitor? Who's that for? Who's a traitor? I think that's one of my besties. I, oh, God. I, take, I take baths with her a lot. Oh, my God. She, so she's probably personally defended. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, God. Melissa, I still love you, and I'll still take baths with you. Yeah, this is just like a, maybe a once in a while time thing for us now. I think I was going to get caught, Chris. I know. Isn't that terrible? <laughs> Isn't that terrible? It's so, amazing. What, what like ideas do you have of like your own time like your time to yourself what you so do. my time my favorite thing to do is to go for hikes because mm -hmm. it just helps to balance me out it helps me to connect with the earth it helps me to process everything that's going on in my head I like to go for hikes by myself actually I like to go with people too but by myself is really I get into this meditative state and it's amazing and I connect with the earth and with the animals and I just Feel like I have so much more clarity and I feel so much more clear with it yeah definitely I like I, I like to, to walk yeah mm -hmm. I like to walk to getting some fresh air is one thing um, I remember one time when I was going in the woods spirits like take your shoes off and I'm like um, I'm in the middle of the woods and I really don't want to walk yeah. barefoot and they're like no take your shoes off so I took my shoes off I was holding my hand while walking in the woods in a path and there was like mud because it just rained and I was like mm -hmm. stepping in this mud I was like is this really appropriate right now and they're like no ground yourself yeah so it is really good to work with that kind of grounding thing mine it would have been really awkward if they asked you to take your pants off i know <laughs> like chris take your pants off what excuse me if spirit tells you to do that it might not be <laughs> <laughs> it might just be yourself being your, your inner nudist coming out you know right but chris. take your shoes off to ground is perfect yes yeah. definitely and like one of my favorite ultimate things to do is i love like if I don't have time to go outside or if I don't have time to, um, you know, do something that I actually really enjoying, enjoying, like at least like getting fresh air. I mean like to be outside too, but what I do like personally is like my backup plan is to like bathe my feet in lavender oil with water and like oh. meditate or read a book while I'm doing it. That sounds nice. Oh my God. I love it. Yeah. yeah. It's amazing. Like just having the lavender kind of like soaking your feet, allowing you to get that kind of relaxing effect and then having that kind of... You know just a little clear mind type situation with that so that's like one of my favorite things to do but it's more like a backup plan if i can't get outside type situation yeah um other than that like meditation is like my ultimate meditation goal. is huge yeah, yeah it's my ultimate goal i always like to lay in bed at night and at least do um a little bit of meditation 15 minutes at least before i fall asleep and then just kind of get my head clear because that's the best way to actually work with um your spiritual self and kind of you know relax is to have a clear mind of things yeah, so. definitely. And it's so, so important. I know for both of us, we've experienced anxiety oh, yeah. in, in our life and, and dealt with that. And for both of us, finding the way to meditate has been huge for both of us. Oh, yeah. Life changing. And I just feel so much more balanced and connected and like I'm getting my messages so much more intuitive when I'm meditating too. Oh, yes. And the thing that was that I was... Speaking of like the anxiety and stuff, so when I was younger, being connecting with spirit, I didn't understand how my body was doing it. 
I just understood that I just talked to dead people. Um, and what, what I did is I had to have um, medication to kind of let go of my anxiety and actually mm -hmm. help me sleep because it was a big problem. Um, so what I actually personally started doing was meditation and I use the honest guys a lot on YouTube I always refer them to my clients if you go on YouTube and type up the honest guys They have guided meditations on there because I really didn't personally know how to meditate exactly And then I learned that you can meditate doing anything drinking coffee drinking tea you can meditate during anything But gin, do you think that works? Yeah, I'm or some vodka meditation Yes, right now. vodka tea guys, <laughs> vodka Oh god this is um, self care, a little, sometimes, a little in moderation. Everything yeah. in moderation, right? Chocolate yeah. can be self care. Oh god, care. yeah. I don't drink much, and it's like once in a while thing. Like yeah. this is probably my first drink I've had, and I don't know how long. Um, yeah, but what true. I what I like to do is like when I did when I did start <laughs> meditation, um, I kind of like eased me from doing that medication. And yeah. Like I just replaced the medication with meditation, mm -hmm. and it kind of allowed me to get off my medita my medication and kind of brought me into who I actually was. So yeah. that was my first part of self care is learning to take care of myself a little more and taking those breaks. You That's know? amazing. I always say that when we meditate, it's kind of we're opening that crown chakra, which to me is like our umbilical cord to God. Oh, definitely. Right, and so you're allowing that energy to flow down to you, and what that energy is is pure universal love. Mm -hmm. I mean, who doesn't want or need more of that? And so the more you work on it, the more you're allowing it, and the more you're going to find yourself loving yourself, you're gonna feel like you're full of light, less negativity. I mean, it's just like, I can't talk enough about how amazing that is. Oh yeah, is. and it feels like, honestly, because they're all, I always got told by spirit, there's only two emotions on their side, unconditional love your happiness. Mm -hmm. And when you're, you're talking about the, you know, the universal love, you're also getting that happiness. And people are like, I don't know how to be happy sometimes, or I don't, want, I don't know how to feel happy. And meditation connects you with that love and that happiness. And it's like the best thing in the world because it's like, honestly, to me, it makes me feel like you're just having the most amazing sex. And you're just like kind of just doing with yourself and connecting with your spiritual self. And yeah. like kind of having this wonderful time and just feeling these two emotions. That I, I think I'm it. maybe not meditating. <laughs> I'm not sure. Well, to me, that's like, I'm just, I'm just a dirty minded person, but like, to me, that's what it feels like. It does. It does. Like you're, you're loving yourself. You're immensely, you're, you're connecting with your spiritual self. So you're having yeah. sex with your spiritual self. That's what I think of. Like you're just connecting in that personal mind with your spiritual self and you're just having that love and that happiness. You know what I mean? So I don't really know I, I, why. I feel you. I feel it's you. It's this vodka. I'm telling you right now. I'm telling you. It's the vodka. I'm just telling you. You know, and, and I feel like sex can be a self care. You know, everything oh, in balance, everything in moderation. So it's like, I feel like with like, for example, sex, chocolate, alcohol, those kind of things. Oh, yeah. Like, do you want to like have that every day, all through the day? Probably not. But you know, mm -hmm. what you can do is you can listen to <laughs> what it is that you're feeling like you need. Yeah. You know, checking in with yourself. Okay, I'm having a rough day. What is it that I need? And if it's like an entire bottle of vodka maybe that's your ego and not your spirit telling you. Yes. But if it's like a, a square of chocolate and maybe some sex to end your day, yes. cool, you know? <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah, and the thing too is that like, speaking of all of this self-care stuff, that's what based off your sacral chakra is mm -hmm. self-care and self-pleasure. Um, doing all that stuff, <laughs> sex, you know, anything like that. Um, but it's... <laughs> <laughs> but that's literally what it is. That's self-care. Your your soul, your sacral chakra, which is above, is underneath the belly button, above the groin area. Um, that is actually where self-pleasure comes from. Where taking care of yourself is more important, and doing things in that way. So when you actually take care of yourself, that sacral chakra is now open to kind of flow through you. And I feel like <clears throat> when people connect more with their sacral chakra, and I see a lot of people. I don't know if you do too, but a lot of my clients don't know how to take care of themselves. And then if it's either it's either some of my clients, and I'm not saying like in a rude way, but some of them are so closed off with their sacral chakra where they're mm -hmm. not connecting with self pleasure, and some of them are so kind of open to it where they're kind of not selfish, but they're doing a lot for more of themselves than what they should be. Yeah. And I'm just like, there's a balance there, you know. Even though you want to do stuff for yourself, go for it. But at the same time, you have to think about other people. But when you kind of have to think about more people than yourself, it's completely the opposite. You have to just kind of balance, balance it out. Balance. Mm -hmm. Balance is the biggest Otherwise thing. Otherwise you're going to be sore. Oh yeah, definitely. <laughs> the cat. Oh. <laughs> the cat's attacking. Do the cat? Yeah. <laughs> I wish the cat could get in the
the bathtub with us. Oh, he would. Aww. He would. <laughs> I don't know how long he would be in here, but he would. Yeah. yeah. So those are like the big ones, but we would love to hear you guys share in comments, you know, what, what your techniques are, what your favorite ways for taking care of yourself, little things, big things, whatever those are. So feel <laughs> free to share those in comments. Um, we'll maybe answer a couple of questions. Are there any questions that are coming through? No? Okay. Mm -hmm. What is what else saying? Um, Patricia Waters. That's my mommy is watching. Oh, oh that's... God. <laughs> I'm um, I'm but I'll she said she loves this. <laughs> and then you got some thumbs up and some laughing faces. Awesome. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> awesome. I like how we just said that at the same time. Um, same brain. Yeah, definitely. Spiritually connected, you guys. We're in a bathtub together, so. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so if you guys have anything we would like to know, any other questions or anything further, um, if you guys want to, <clears throat> we always make videos together. Every now and then, Love so it. yeah, definitely. Yeah. We like to teach people a lot of different things. We like to make our fun, like funny videos. That's why we did this. I was like, you know what? I did a bath video We're once. Silly. Yeah, we like to, and that's another thing for self care. Just like, like be silly, have fun, joke, laugh. Yes. Life does not have to be so serious. You see that I joke a lot, um, and and also share this video. Yes, like and share. Go check out every other thing that we can possibly have. You know, fun things. Yeah. So. um is there anything else at all, you guys, before we go and kind of maybe turn these jets on and just sit down for a second, you know? <laughs> to have some self-care out of the video with the jets. Self-care. <laughs> yeah. Anything up? Is there anything popping up with questions at all? Or people just popping in? Okay. Yeah. Well, oh, thank you guys so much for watching. Yeah, definitely. I love you guys so much. And take care of you guys yourself, you know? Come join us in the bathtub. Yeah, we're gonna be here. We'll be here a few more minutes. Yeah, so, a few yeah. more minutes. Come join us. <laughs> Come join us, you guys. We'll be doing a lot of more like funny, crazy videos. So have fun, you guys. Bye.